I found that, surprisingly, a lot of students and engineers are interested in doing research, especially in very specific research topics that drive them for personal reasons. I completely understand the urge. I went on for like a five-year blitz uh, to study consciousness and uh, I regret nothing. But you have to be pragmatic about your current situation, otherwise it will be impossible for you to focus on actually doing the research. So here are three kind of blunt advice I gave recently in one of our paper review live stream on if you should follow this interest, even if there's no real career reward at the end, why it's a good idea if you got your basic covered and how to find good research ideas. Enjoy. Before that, if you are an early beginner and want to build up practical AI skills for your career, I highly recommend the Scrimba learning platform, which is kindly sponsoring this video. The platform UI makes it super easy to actually work on the right coding skills to get you to build things that are used by real users. I strongly believe that uh, understanding how these AI system works and using them effectively goes hand in hand. If you start from absolutely no coding knowledge whatsoever, they even have like a 100 hour long full stack course which include a module on AI engineering here of like five hours. And if you feel like diving a bit deeper into AI engineering, they even have a full eight hour course and it covers pretty much all the basics that you need to actually build an AI based application. So check out the link in the description for 20% off and to check out their massive library of free content. What should, do, what should someone do if their research interests don't align with their career goals or with areas that are widely valued in the industry? Ah. Uh, tell me a bit more, Mahadio. Like, what actually are you interested in, right? If it's like, I don't know, like a, a foreign language that nobody is speaking anymore, right? Uh, I don't know what to say. But I mean, if it's like, if it's something that interesting interests you to the to your core, and you're like, this is so fascinating and so useful. And then other peoples are also like that. They're like, yeah, this shit is the thing. And we think that it maybe can do that stuff, right? Then it's about like what type of person you want to be, right? And what you can afford to be, right? So for instance, like if you were rich, you didn't care about money, ah, just do that, do, do your interest. Um, if you're struggling a bit and you're gonna be starving and you have three kids, yeah, come on, right? Yeah, you have to you have to make a choice here. Depending on your life and how you want to like uh, mold it, you, you just have to make these kind of trade off and to a point where you don't have to make trade off anymore. So for instance, if like you're struggling, you want to also have a family and whatever it is, focus on a career and maybe after that do the, the research interest. If you have none of this and you're very bullish on that, I would go full spin on this because I, in my view, in life, there is nothing more important um, than working on something that you deeply believe in. Like that is the most beautiful thing. You wake up and you're like, yes, I'm gonna do this shit again today, right? And then you do it until like midnight, you're like, wow, I learned that and this is this. And then I was able to show this and whatever. And then you go to sleep and you do it again and again and again. That's beautiful, right? It's fantastic. Now, this get disturbed if you're starving or if your kids are starving, or like everybody in your family is like pissed at you because you're doing this shit and like everybody is like struggling, the roof is falling off and whatever it is. Focus on your career goals first until your life is like, okay. Like, uh, like your life is good. There's nothing else, right? And don't go into like money creep where you buy more stuff and you buy a Ferrari, but you're fucking depressed because you can't do your neuroassembling graph ML stuff, right? Try to be as lean as possible until your life is like where you want to be. and then uh, go and do the, 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 the whatever is inspiring you that much, right? Do it. Try to do it in the top of whatever the folks, the other folks are interested in doing this, right? Uh, and if you think that this is the future, like make it happen, right? That's what I would say. Because like, if you think about it, a lot of deep learning is like a bunch of folks taught everything else was stupid. But this was a shit. And they understood each other, right? Yan Khan, like Yoshio Bengyu, they all understood each other. Je Jeffrey Hinton, they were like, yeah, deep learning is this. Like, it's the shit. And it was just limitation and blah, blah. And everybody was like, these crazy old dads. But like, they were they were right, right? They, they were 100% right. But they were able to see that future a bit. Um, so, like, that's also another element of, of, of the stuff. And if you are deeply okay in your life and you are deeply... Um, 
uh, align with whatever you're, you're, you're doing, going for your research interest is the best uh, that you can do. Because then you're going to be so much more interesting, man. Like, there's nothing more depressing than a guy in tech that hates what they do. Fucking the most depressing discussion you ever had. Like, oh, what'd you do? Oh, I'm doing like Postgres stuff on the back end for this like tech company in like uh, credit card retail. And they look like they're dead in, on the inside, right? They look aghast, <laughs> right? Um, versus, I don't know, like a researcher that is like so interested in their things and they speak about it. I get interested in that stuff too. Like, I don't, I don't care like uh, what the implication of it. You're interested in this and you spent your life on that. I want to know more about it, right? And then like that is something that is unique. You cannot get that even with all the money in the world. So that's uh, that's my, my thing. And one thing, also last thing, right? There's always a way. There's always a way to align all the stuff together, right? Like uh, your research interests, your career goals, your life. If you can like mold this properly, right? By spending two days in the uh, in the woods, um, you're gonna you're gonna get there. So this is pretty good, right? For anybody that wants to do independent research of some kind, the one place, or like or even research with your 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 friends or like uh, with another lab, the one place where you can figure out a new thing to discover is a discussion section because they're going to tell you straight up the thread that they haven't checked. So if it's a deep learning paper, they're going to say like, oh, maybe like uh, we should have used this other optimizer for like this. Maybe it would have been better. We have, didn't have time to do that. Oh, we didn't do a parameter sweep for that. Maybe it, maybe it would have been better. We didn't have enough compute. You take that and you do it and automatically you're going to find something, right? So that's kind of how you're going to discover new stuff usually, right? And what happened when you do big discovery like this is that you do this and you get an idea and you test it out and then like and then you go into somewhere that is totally uncharted that may have nothing to do with like the initial uh, research but that's kind of how you can very easily find new things you just look at a discussion and you look where they kind of gave up <laughs> for multiple reasons right it's not like they, they 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 didn't want to do this anymore it's like at some point you, sh you have to publish the stuff and some people need to graduate and move on with their life, right? So this is where you can find the uh, find the stuff. Um, just some quick uh, quick tips for the youth. So I hope this video was useful. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any more questions. And I wish you all a great week.